Okay, number four, the client is ready to go and signs the B101 owner architect agreement. One of the first tasks that the architect should do is uh, a, a building code search and analysis. What is the first aspect of this process that should be established? Permitted uses, construction type, occupancy, egress. So first thing right off the bat, uh, I'm gonna cancel out A because that's not the building code, that's the zoning code. Uh, so permitted uses are part of the zoning process. It's a, one quick aside before I move on. One of the things to remember is there, most of these terms are national terms uh, and get used uh, across the board um, everywhere. Every once in a while you'll find uh, zoning code will not use the specific term permitted uses, uh, but the vast majority do to the point that NCARB will actually use that term. The other one that I used earlier, FAR, floor area ratio, uh, for example, in Chicago, it's actually, um, uh, no, actually, actually FAR they use in Chicago, but uh, some places use a, a subtly different ones, but the exam uses FAR. So the ones that we talk about here are all things that are likely to be used on the exam. So A, permitted uses, nope, that's zoning. This is a, talking about the building code search and analysis, so not A. So the question really becomes construction type, occupancy, or egress. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, egress is an important thing to understand and is going to have a very quick uh, and powerful impact on uh, design, design thinking. But you can't really have a conversation about egress until you know the construction type and the occupancy. Uh, it doesn't really make any sense to even start the conversation about egress. Uh, for example, um, let's say we're doing a hospital and the hospital, uh, you know, if you figured out what the egress pattern was and then you figured out that, okay, we're going to do it out of uh, uh, wood two by four construction. Like really, you're going to do a hospital out of two by four construction? Uh, that doesn't really make any sense to the to the occupancy type and it's going to be very difficult. So you'd be able to do it, but it would be a very, very, very small uh, amount of building that they would allow you to build. And then you say, well, okay, maybe we'll do it out of concrete. Well, now you could probably build as big a hospital as you wanted, right? So the egress patterns will change dramatically given the construction type and the occupancy. So unfortunately, not egress. That'll come, and it's important, it'll come soon, but the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at occupancy. It's sort of obvious. Um, it's so obvious that probably a few people missed it because it just seems like it's sort of, uh, construction type would be the logical place that you would go, but you can't really have a conversation about construction type until you have nailed down occupancy. Now, the example of hospital is a pretty easy one, uh, there will be a hospital construction type, uh, excuse me, occupancy type. Um, so uh, not all of them will be that simple. For example, let's say you have uh, retail on the first floor and multifamily uh, above, right? That's a mixed occupancy and it can be sort of complicated about how you start to analyze the occupancy of that building uh, and finding the situations where there is conflicts you're always having to go with the more restrictive uh, aspect of the conflict. So understanding the occupancy is by far the most important thing to get done first. Then the second thing you're gonna do is you're gonna make your best guess as to what sort of construction type. And the two pieces of information, occupancy and construction type, will then allow you to sort of search and find what sort of fire rated walls are you gonna need? What kind of egress are you gonna need? What sort of, uh, how big a building are you gonna be allowed to build? How big a floor can you build? All of that information is gonna flow from the building code by being able to use the occupancy with the construction type. So we start with occupancy and then go to construction type.